Then our first bout this evening, the vacant Midlands Area World Away Championship between Peter Nightingale and Danny Bell. My name's Steve Holdsworth. And we Ladies have John Strachan. Please welcome, welcome coming into the red corner from Nottingham, Danny Bell. And that's statistically much better than Peter Nightingale, but it doesn't, of course, always tell the whole story. So there is then Danny Bell. And of course, he's lost to Peter Nightingale previously. So this is a return contest. popular man and once again from the Dave Bradley camp and he, uh, he's beaten by James Hare recently but he's beaten Brian Coleman on three occasions and Coleman occasionally turns in a very good result but I've got a feeling you know although Nightingale's done it once before there might be a bit of a change of fortune tonight Danny Bell could overturn that previous defeat as I say, I'm delighted to uh, welcome once again the former British European and World Waterweight Champion John H. Stracey alongside me here tonight. And uh, over to our MC now, Simon Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome viewers live and exclusive on Front Row. Golden Fists and Dave Bradley in association with your sponsors this evening, Jumbo Cash and Curry, proudly presents an evening of World Championship Boxing. The first contest in the ring this evening is a contest over 10 uh, three-minute rounds to decide the vacant welterweight championship of the Midlands area. Between and introducing firstly in the red corner, wearing the red and the white striped trunks, he weighed in at 10 stones, 6 pounds, and as a professional from nine contests, he has six wins, one draw, and just two losses. Two of his wins coming by way of knockouts. From Nottingham, when you please welcome Danny Bell. So there's Danny Bell then, and he's in the red and white stripes. He weighed in at 10 stone, 4 pounds, and from his 19th contest, he has 6 wins, 2 fours, and 11 losses. One win coming by way of knockout from Wednesday, Peter Nightingale. And there's Peter Nightingale then, an improving sort. You know, a bit of a patchy record, John, to be honest, but uh, an improving sort. Certainly a lot of cheers for the local lad there, isn't he? He's, he's got a lot of uh, people behind him. But it's interesting for me because they're welterweights. Yes. So uh, that was your fighting weight. Exactly, and it's nice to see. So not much in it, I don't suppose, physically between these two lads. I suppose psychologically Nightingale has the edge because of that previous win. But of course... Bell will be looking to overturn that one and of course become the Midlands area champion with it. It's nice to see area champions area championships now, Steve. Oh absolutely, like they're rare commodity these days yeah. in British this, boxing. This should be a good contest. Yep, referee for this one is John Coyle, who of course will score the bout as well. And he's from the Midlands as well. Yes, he's from Wolverhampton. Which is a lot nearer Wensbury than it is Nottingham. Danny Bell then, as he threw that jab, John, do you notice he pulled the right elbow up? Certainly, he's very lean, isn't he? Very lean, isn't he, Danny? He certainly is. Looks like he's struggled to make the weight as well. No weight at all on his legs, is he? Let's hope he hasn't left it all in the gym. That's a good jab. Nice stiff jab there. Uh, Peter Nightingale's learnt his trade up and down the country, fighting in nondescript small halls, often as the underdog. But, uh, you know, he's, he is a learning type, I must admit. Saw him recently up in West Bromwich. It's a nice left hook underneath. But counted very quickly, didn't he, uh, Nightingale?
Bell showing a rather ungainly style, John, isn't he? He is a bit ungainly, but he's, he's quite effective. A double left hook then from Nightingale. Of course, they're clawing in Florence, don't they? Just feeling their way in here. Good right hand there by, uh, by Bell. And there may not be much between these two at the finish, you know. Of course, the ten rounds were, might might be the, the thing that sorts these two out. They fought previously at the six twos. Pretty close round so far, John. Yeah. This is pretty close. Just fell short with that right hand. Yeah. And how do you think this first round's looking? Um, again, pretty close. I know you don't ordinarily like to sit on the fence and uh, and score them even, John. So uh... no, I don't. I I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> is that clearer? End of a, a pretty competitive I, opener. I, yeah, I think Bell just nicked that for me. Okay, Danny Bell for you. So Bell gets 10 points, and uh, Peter Nightingale. This other system, this WBU, it's um, this 20 point scoring. I mean, it's you know, why why is it, it gone like this now? Why, why are they doing it? Well, we'll, we'll talk about that later, John, when we get the WBO fight, the WBU right. fight, okay, on, I should say. Go. But, uh, you yeah, know, the British system seems to me the, the fairest and simplest way of doing things. Um, I don't think you can beat a 10-9, can you? Not really. 10-8, I mean, it's, it's not confusing, is it? I think it's just headline grabbing from the WBU, to be honest with you. So there's Peter Nightingale then, managed by Dave Bradley. And for your money, just a, a slick behind that after one. Yeah, I think Bell just standing up there. So round two then, referee for this one, John Coyle. And he will decide who wins and who loses. Don't like those wide arms of uh, Bell's, they like wings, aren't they? And Nightingale's a fair body puncher, so there's a very good is, chance yeah. they can get in underneath those elbows. <laughs> nice jab there from Nightingale. And then hooked off it downstairs. <laughs> That's a nice little left hook underneath there as well. Yes, Peter looking a lot lively here in this second round, possibly just to use the opener to have a look at Bell and just see what kind of frame of mind he's come in for this one. It's getting lively now, isn't it? Good jab there by Nightingale. Very sharp, aren't they, both of them? The problem is, John, you know, they've got 10 three-minute rounds to keep yes. this off. So a lot, lot of hard work's got to be put in here. And Peter Nightingale was a former Midlands champion when he boxed as an amateur, so looking to emulate that in the pro ranks. Two nice jabs there by Nightingale. Okay, Spencer McCracken a good fight as well, Nightingale, recently. Good left hook there, left hook there but... Ooh, nice shot underneath there. Put, put 
Derek Bell under this lovely shot there. And, and, again. Again. and that one hurt, didn't it? He just yes. dragged the elbow in there. I think he's, uh, he's, he's smelled a little bit of blood here. He's coming on strong now, trying the uh, underneath punches. And he's dragged that left elbow in very, very tight, John. So he is feeling yes. those body shots. Well, that, that first one certainly hurt him. You could see it, you, he winced there. He's almost saying, please hit me in the ribcage, isn't he? <laughs> well, if you notice, his left arm's always springing up slightly, and, uh, you know, he'll just, he'll just throw the right hand underneath there. Good round for Peter, John, wasn't it? Yes, very good. So there's Peter Nightingale, then trained by Al Malcolm, a former Lennox Lewis opponent, by the way. They are, bit of replay. Big wide left hook there from Bell high on the head. Here comes the body shot, I think, now, John. Oh, that's, that's it. Beautiful Good shot. Punch. Beautiful. Uh, do you know, he, he, he almost went down there. And they hurt, don't they? They do hurt. So there's Peter Nightingale then. Just and working his way into things. He's won the second round, uh, having lost the first by a whisker. And he followed up again, you, you notice, with that little short right hand. And he had him in trouble there. Round three then. So, just to remind you, Danny Bell in the red and white trunks against Peter Nightingale contesting the vacant Midlands area welterweight title. And this one started well. Oh, good right there from Bell. Takes one though. He's got to do that, he's got to jab him and keep him at bay because Nightingale's going for this. You can see him uh, getting prepared to throw the good punches here. Good left hook there. Right, step back. Let go. Well, I've got a feeling that Nightingale senses that Bell's weakness is going to be downstairs. And that's what he'll be concentrating on. Yeah, uh, you, you can see that by that right hand he threw to the belly. And again, just missed. But he's also should stick to his boxing. Yes, I was about to say, he shouldn't just get uh, body happy, should he? No, no, he's got to keep in the fight. He's got to do a lot of work. Nice sharp left hook there. Good jabs Bell. there, nice two jabs there. A little bit of blood on the eye somewhere. Might yes, be there's a cut on the cheek there, isn't it, I think, for Nightingale. Just a cut on the left cheek from a punch. It was a right hand, I think, from Bell that's done it. That's another nice left hook there by uh, Nightingale. Good jab. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Nice shot there from Peter Seems Nightingale. To have, uh, spurred him on that. And quite often, you know, John, people ask me, you know, as a fighter, if you get cut in a fight, does it hurt? Well, sometimes it depends where the cut is and how you've received it. Um, sometimes with a headbutt, it can really hurt, which I've experienced. Sometimes it could be a glancing blow, you don't feel it, but it can be horrendous. And Peter Nightingale sporting now a cut on the left cheek. It's just a nick, in fact. But, of course, there's no such thing as a good cut, and it's going to get worse as this one wears on. Luckily, it's underneath, and it won't impair his vision at all. But nice jabs there. I think he's looking for the eye now. There's Bell, he's looking for the eye. Close round this one. I think the uh, the sight of blood has spurred Bell on a wee bit. Yeah, it looks to have done. Although Nightingale still composed. Yeah, and probably still nicking the round, John, isn't he? Well, it's it's very close. Oh, that was a good right hand by Bell. That's nice. The best punch of the round so far. Yes. Too wild that. He's you know you mustn't throw them like that. You, you're showing it. Mm. It's like uh, being telegraphed. Well, I'm going to go for Bell on that round. There wasn't a great deal in it, Steve, but I think he'd done the better boxing. Yeah, here we go. Better replay here from that round. Bang, that's a good right hand there yeah, from it was. Bell. 
And that was the one about so, 20 seconds in the end. It's also a pity it wasn't in distance. You know, he didn't come forward when he threw it. Yes, yeah, Nightingale was just going he away noticed. from it at the time, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. So there's Peter then, and uh, smearing a bit of grease. Just remind people at home, by the way, the only stimulant allowed, the only item allowed to stem the flow of blood in a British, in fact, throughout the world, is adrenaline that's uh, diluted one to a thousand parts of water. Um, if that doesn't work, you had it. <laughs> and the only protection above the waist, of course, is a gum shield. Um, you often see, of course, fighters greased up around the eyes. Some fighters don't even bother. You see, Nightingale's got plenty of Vaseline over his eyes, right. so they're obviously worried about his car. Yes, and he has marked up in the past. So this is round four, then, of a scheduled ten. You notice now that Bell is uh, throwing the jab, using the jab a lot more. He knows it's a scoring punch. And again. That's a nice body shot from Peter. Good punch. And, but the thing is, Bell knows exactly what Nightingale's looking yeah, he's for now. He's countering quite easily, actually. <laughs> he seems also to be taking the fight to Nightingale now. He's got a little bit cocky. A little bit confident, and he's now forcing the fight. That's right, and obviously thinking that uh, he can possibly worsen that cut of Nightingale's or inflict another. He's claiming the centre of the ring here. And now Nightingale beginning to bleed from the nose as well. So obviously feeling the effects of these punches. Yeah, he's just stepped it up a gear. And maybe and the ten rounds will suit Bell better than Nightingale. I think it will. He's not marked at all. That's uh, that's in his favour. Good round so far, this one Good for Bell. Good left hook there as well from Bell. Wasn't hard, but it, it was a scoring punch. And he just tucked up there, Bell, so he didn't receive any punches. Yes, Bell. He's quite sharp, isn't he now, Bell? He seems to have found his rhythm. Yep, his confidence is rising as well. Yeah, nice jab there. Movement's very good. that right hand lucky well, good uh, stiff jab there from Bell that was a good jab yeah and again and Peter Nightingale yes. he's having a few problems here he certainly looks it that way he's really stepped up his work rate now it's the jab as well Steve you notice he's catching him yep. quite a lot with the jab takes a good right though and uh, it's opening up everything well, that's the one shot that uh, Peter I, was looking for. I think it's a little bit of desperation coming from Nightingale there. He looks, nice very, he looks very weary, doesn't he, Nightingale? His face seems to tell the story. But he's one of those fighters, John. He'll, he'll, do the, he'll look like that from round one. Yeah. Well, there's been one good spell from Nightingale in this round, but uh, overall, no, one, I, think, I think a good round is for Bell, I isn't think it? Bell's won this round, clearly. <laughs> yeah, I had him winning that round. So there's Peter Nightingale then, a January baby, and 11 defeats. Slightly deceptive, that. Six wins, two draws, but uh, only one knockout to his credit. And, uh, you know, he's not a dynamic punter by any means, but uh, works hard. Bit of replay here again from round four. Lovely jab there from Danny Bell. Can't argue with that. No, you can see he's not a hard puncher, but he's, you know, he's quite uh, fit and very fast. So there's Peter. And, uh, well, it looks like Bell now has uh, got his rhythm, John, as you mentioned in the previous round. I think you know, he has. I think he's found his target, which is very important. If, you know, he's, he seems to have found his, uh, his jab, and that's the most important thing, because behind the jab, you know, he'll do all the work from that. That's right. So this is round five, and he's round zipping along now. Right! There's your scorecard, John, at this stage. It's a bit of 
of a desperation there. It's getting interesting now. It's looking good too, isn't it? It's a good fight now. I think it's really opened up. Yes, and of course, it's the holiday weekend, and for all those people who decided not to brave the roads and the traffic, sitting at home watching this, you made the right decision. Believe me, it took me three and a half hours to get here from Watford today. Good right there from Nightingale. Nice jab there, Steve, from uh, Bell. Just a little cheeky jab, that. As if to say, you're not having this round all your sure, own way. Yeah. Close one, this as well, isn't it? Although yeah. Nightingale looks like he's coming back in. A bit of a haymaker there. It looks like he wants to hurt Bell now with one shot and then try and take over. Good jab there from, uh, from Bell. left hook just missed but it, it well it caught him slightly but the effect didn't catch him Hello. Hello looks like uh, Nightingale then is up in the pace here and of course the risk is greater as well because uh, you leave yourself open John don't you it certainly is. yeah his face is getting banged up as we said earlier and the other guy is just uh, peppering him with the jab but he's come back into it again Looks like Nightingale's looking for a stoppage, John. He doesn't want to win this on a point. Right hand by Nightingale. Yeah. But he took a good left hook from he Danny did, Bell. Yeah. He looks, to me, Bell looks very much in control. Pressing forward again, see? I think he's found his... Yeah. He's found his range again. Yeah, see, none of them scored, so he's, he's OK, his Bell. Good jab again from Bell. Nice jab going forward there from Bell. Who are you going to go for? I'm going for Bell. OK. So, Danny Bell, then, once again, in your opinion, John, winning that round. Yeah, I mean, it's only my opinion, but you never know. He might uh, tally up with my scorecard. And you never know. I could end up being a referee, couldn't I? Yeah. 38, <laughs> uh, sorry, 49, 46 now, after five rounds. And these ring girls are lovely, aren't they? Johnny Coyle was an excellent referee. Was? Well, no, is an excellent referee. <laughs> yes, he certainly is. He knows the game, yeah. And he's been voted, I think, on three occasions, the WBA Official of the Year. Um, so that speaks for itself, I Yeah, suppose. I think that says it all. He's got an Irish Mohican. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go then for round six, the halfway point. And, uh, well, you've got Nightingale three behind, John with uh, five gone yes uh, which means he's going to need the rest of these rounds to win this one but okay. I, I think the other guys are, you know the better boxer and because the jab people don't realize but the jab scores all the time when you connect it, it's a great punch to uh, to get on with and he's throwing a lot more jabs than uh, nightingale good right hand there as well by bell Ooh. and a good jab well, Nightingale coming back there. Yeah, with... come back there with a right hand. Very competitive, these two. And that little bit of bounce from, uh, from, from Bell, you notice. Good shot there from Danny Bell. Nice right over the top. Yeah, some nice jabs he's right. See the other guy, when he's coming in, he's holding him. That yes. shows a little bit of tiredness. Yes, he was hurt by that right, I think. Oh, good shots there from Nightingale. Good left, right, and Bell skips away. Yeah, and then comes back in, see? Again, two good jabs. Oh, it looks... Right! Step back, guys. This is the first of our title fights tonight, of course. Following this, we've got Jane Couch. What a fighter she is. We've also got, of course, uh, the British Lightweight Championship and 
two WBO featherweight, uh, the featherweight championship, the WBU, and the WBU cruiserweight championship. Hell of a night, a boxing job. I'm looking forward to the South African boxers. Good left hook there from Bell. That was well out of distance there. That was a tired punch, that. Well, it uh, looks like Bell's going to get revenge here at this point. Of course, there'll be four more rounds after this one. I certainly uh, think he's got to sort it out. But I think he's doing a better boxing. The jab again, see, he's, he's never out of his face. He's never out of Nightingale's face. Good right hand. Long right hand, but it connected. He's got that little cocky, jaunty step behind him now, isn't he? That's right. I've got Bell. a feeling that Peter might have a little nick on the bridge of the nose. Yes, I'm, I'm yeah, almost certainly has. Yeah, I think you're right. Slashing oh, yeah. punches then. From the yeah, they're both connected from Nightingale there, but again, he's raced back and throwing the jab. He's got to go for it here. Well, too late though, John, wasn't it? Yeah, too late. I'm going for Bell on yeah. that again. He's opening up. He's opening up a good lead to me now. Yeah. I think he's uh, he's the, certainly the better boxer, and he looks more fitter. So we've got 59-55 now. With six rounds gone, and uh, Peter Nightingale is struggling here. Yeah, he, he also, looking at him from our angle, he looks very tired. Yeah. That's a good body shot there from Nightingale on the replay. Yeah, I mean, you, you see them punches, a couple never hit him. So here we go again. Well, slightly clumsy with his head there, Nightingale, I thought, and possibly and hit him a low, low as blow, well. yeah. It was a low blow. But looking them both in the corner now, Steve, and, and uh, um, Bell looks very composed, he looks, very casual. Yeah, by far the fresher of the two, He isn't certainly it? looks fresher, yeah. Right, round seven, then four to go. Well, we've got Nightingale leading all four of these for a draw now, John. Yeah, I, th I think it's... Uh, I think Bell is well in front here. So there's your scorecard. Good jab. Yep, 59-55, which of course means that uh, Nightingale needs all four rounds. Also to level means this. nothing on our scorecards. That's right. Good left right there from Peter yeah. Nightingale. I think he's he's going to have to go for this because I, I I think Bell is certainly outboxing him. Good jab there by Bell. Nice stiff stiff long jab. And I can tell you when they hit you, they hurt. Good work this by Nightingale. Now he probably realises he's not going to have box belt and will need to outpunch him. Now there's a speck of blood on the face of Bell now. No, I think that's come from uh, from Nightingale. Right. Oh, that's good, good right work from Peter. In fact, John, Ooh, it's a cut. Is it? Danny Bell, yes, I think, has got is. a cut on the right on eyebrow, the right, right, right on right. the corner there by the bridge of the nose. Yes, he has. Looks like it may be a vertical one. Not nothing serious at the moment. As long as it's not running into his eye, the ref will let, let that go. So Bell then in the wars here, and a very good picture there of uh, Peter Nightingale's left cheek that was cut. Well, oh. right, he's really going he's for certainly it here. Going for it here, isn't he? Once again, that's a blood smearing around the face yeah. of Bell now. They're certainly giving their all tonight in this contest. But you know, like, Bell can win this if he just jabs him. He's opening him up with that jab, and see how he caught him there with a jab. Yep. Although Nightingale looks like he might be winning this round, John, on sheer aggression. Yeah, he's, he's certainly he's got to be aggressive to win it. Well, Nightingale needed a good round at this stage, and that's yeah, what he's, he's getting. A, he's having a good round here. He's got a good trainer and manager in Jimmy Gill. He'll, he'll sort him out. Oh, absolutely. And Jimmy Gill always gets involved, of course. But this is good stuff now from Nightingale. Very oh. effective. That was a good right hand. Yeah. 
he's going goes. for it here. He's got Phil Hurt. I think he's got to go for it here and try and stop him. And again, this is good stuff. Right. Well, last few seconds end of this uh, seventh round. Good round. Yeah, Nightingale certainly won that. Well, if he can only keep this one up, you never know what he could do here. 68-65 now on our card. He's certainly pressuring Bell, but he's got to go back to his jab. As far as, you know, that's what he has to do. Even so if he goes on his back foot, just keep his jab out. Bingo, look at that lovely right hand from Nightingale. Good punch. And that really does show how little power he possesses. Although it landed solidly and flush, you know, it didn't put him over and never looked like it would, did it? It didn't hurt him. No. Well, it hurt him possibly, but it's certainly not enough to knock him down. No. So, both men then have been in the wars. We've still got three rounds to go, and Nightingale needs all three of them to get this draw that we think he deserves. He, you know, he need, he's looking for the last three, isn't he? This is certainly an excellent contest. So, round eight then. This is where they earn their corn, the boxers. These last three rounds are going to be very hectic. And of course the great thing, John, you know, unlike myself, you of course, you want everything going, but these lads fighting for a British professional championship is a great thing, isn't it? Fantastic, yes. Well, the British titles and, and that are, are the best you can win, actually. So Nightingale then looking to put on some effective pressure here and just keep applying it. Danny Bell needs to keep out of the way. Bell needs to keep this long, doesn't he? He does. I think uh, he's been told by his corner to go out there and box him again and not get involved in too many wars. He seems a bit stronger now, Nightingale, doesn't he? Like yes. he's, he's had a breather and he's coming back. Yeah, he had a good round previously, of course, which would give, you know, give him a boost as well. And if only he can keep Bell under pressure. Ooh, slashing left hook again from Bell. And it's significant that uh, Nightingale's the man to hold on. He's going back to... He's going forward again as, uh, as Bell. wasn't a lot of venom in them punches. Good jab there. Oh, two, two good punches there from Bell. Close round this one. Both men having their moments. I've got a feeling that uh, Nightingale might, on this sheer aggression, John, it might just be just be enough for him to leave it with uh, all to play for with two to go. I certainly would think that way, yes. Although Bell is going forward again there's not a lot of uh, there's not you know he's not punching too hard no, no not a great deal of clean scoring no. here from bell and nightingale and you know as you saw there you a know, nice double punch. jab from him yeah nice double punch that's nice on the inside from nightingale good uppercut and peter having to suck it up now getting hard work out there See, it depends what the cornermen have said. They might think he's won the fight and just tell him to hang on in there. But I think he's got to claim the centre of the ring, push Nightingale back and go for it. Yes, yeah, so I've got a feeling that they're probably as wise as we are about this. You know, it's all, of course, pure conjecture at this yeah. stage. But you go on gut feeling... I think Nightingale won that. And he's certainly come right back into the fight. Well, we've got 77-75 now, John, as far as you're concerned. Two rounds to go, so if Nightingale can keep this up and, and win the last two, he's on a draw. But John Cord, of course, won't want to find a draw. He'll find, no, a, he'll find a winner. I, I think he? John will find a winner. I'm just looking at the corner men in uh, Bell's corner, and they look quite alarmed, don't they? They're, they're giving him a good dressing down. Yeah. So perhaps they can uh, 
sense that he's you know, pra perhaps not not ahead as he should be. Yeah, Jimmy Gill, they're having giving right, reading the right act in fact. Yes. To Bell saying you're letting this go, just chasing that cup with a bit of adrenaline. I think now for for Nightingale to win this, he's got to give him, you know, got to come forward these next two rounds and uh, throw all the skill away and just go for it. That's right. So Peter Nightingale, then well supported in this Aston Villa Leisure Centre. And the White Trunks looking to win this final two rounds and possibly nick this area championship. It's a great atmosphere tonight here as well, isn't it, with the two fans on each side. I don't know if I box with a pair of trunks with Winky on them, though, would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, both men a bit too close to each other for anything too effective there, either at long range or on the inside. There's another cut. Oh, it's a nasty yeah, one. Yeah, that is nasty. That's a nasty cut on the right eyebrow now, Danny yeah, Bell. Very, very nasty. So the referee will be looking at that. Danny Bell cut on the right eye. It's a good inch long as well, John, isn't it? So it, it it'll be interesting to see where it come from. Whether he caught him with his head. I thought it was an elbow. Could be an elbow. I think that will show later. But he's, I think he smelt uh, that he can catch him now. Oh, he's got him an uppercut. Good uppercut there from Nightingale. And again. And the irony is that Bell doesn't bleed much, does he, John? No, and it seems to have gone the other way now. He seems to be... Uh, he's got a nasty Nightingale cut. being in... Uh, He's showing all the confidence now. Yes. Yeah, Bell, nasty cut on the right eye, but virtually no blood coming from that at all. Good right there from Bell. It's a, it's a nasty cut, Steve. It's not a good oh, punch. look at that. Good punch. Good round this again for Peter Nightingale. And it's been such a good finish from him, such a good second part of the fight. But he seems to have come back in it from the sixth, seventh round onwards. Well, Jimmy Gill's got some work to do with that yeah, swab. He's found his strength again, hasn't he, Nightingale? He's pushing him off now. Yes, that's right. And Jimmy Gill, Gill of course, the manager and trainer of... Uh, Danny Bell, and he's got some work to do with that uh, adrenaline swab when he goes back to the corner. I don't think it's going to be a fight-threatening injury, to be honest with you, John. As you say, it doesn't seem a lot of blood coming from there. Considering how long but the it, cut is. It is awkward. <laughs> Obviously, the referee don't think it's going to interfere. No, he's not so stopped it once to have a look. Yet. Well, I've, I've got to go with Nightingale oh, there. Yeah. He's very, very aggressive. Very aggressive. Just total up the scores, how are we doing? Well, we've got an 85 now to Peter, and 86 tonight to uh, Danny, Danny Bell, Bell which, yeah. you know, there's one round in it. Um, one round. And really, I suppose the winner of the last round really could win the fight, although we've got Nightingale needing it for a draw. Pinching the cut together there so that uh, yeah. the stents the flow. I thought round three might have been a contentious round, John. You went for Bell. So, you know, if that if there is any contention here in the scoring, that could be early be on. on. Could be early on in the fight. So here we go then for the tenth and final round to decide this Midlands Area Championship. And it's been a very sporting contest, hasn't it? Yeah, there's not been any uh, fouls or anything like that or any anything deliberately but it's been very tough it is a good fight well there you are john you've got uh nightingale needing this last round there to draw this one i think he's come back well into the fight and you know some referees they like that and, and probably give it to him yes he's been very aggressive Yeah, Bell's not doing a lot of work again. See, I, 
you know, he could, he could have been told that he's won it and just keep him at bay. Yes. But it's not always a good thing to do. No, it's been very, very close. Oh, nice it's a good right hand there. Good shot then from Danny Belt. Yeah, and a good left hook there. And they're a credit to themselves because oh. this has been ten very hard threes. They've been at it from the first bell. But it's a great contest. Come on, John. Pick me a winner. Well, I think, to, to be fair, I think Nightingale uh, looks like he could have nicked it now. Um, we, oh. we will have it as a draw, but I think the referee will give it to Nightingale. He's showing more, he's doing more work and he's showing that he wants to win. And of course, it'll be the double by Nightingale if he does win. Yes. But more importantly, he'll be the Midlands area champion. It's close though. See, sir, he's looked, he looks like he wants to win. That's the main thing and that, that always catches the referee's eye. It'd be amazing if he gives it a draw, wouldn't it? Well, as I said, I don't think he will, not in the time No, I fight. don't. I wouldn't like to see a draw anyway. Three quarters of a minute to go then. And I think another cut's appeared underneath the right eye of Bell now. Oh. But uh, fortunately for him, there's only 30 seconds or so to go in the final round. And I may be wrong. No, I'm not. So, oh, good it's... finish just by Nightingale. Yes. Well, if he doesn't get it, I think this crowd will be pretty cross. No, I, I think the referee will give it to him. It's been a good crowd here as well. And, and again, he's probably won this by two points. Is that dominant, eh? Well, I think so, yeah. I mean, the other guy really hasn't done much at all. He's just hanging on in there. Well, he gonna, he's got yes. the Nightingale. Yes. Well done, John. Yes. Oh, look at that nasty cut. Yes. Horrible cut there. He looks out on his feet, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. And look Danny look Bell. at Bell, he looks out on his feet. Yeah, Danny Bell, pretty, pretty da badly damaged I'm there. going eight for Bell and that's ten there for Nightingale. All right, mate. And I think that's where he's won it from. Well, that's 96-94. Yeah. Our card in your favour. On your yeah, card, there I won't be, say There won't be too many points in this. But I think, Steve, from the... I think it was about the sixth or seventh round, he really started piling it on. And he, de he deserved to win. Yeah, he came back very strongly, didn't he? Did. he? And hopefully, Beaky will be able to get a word with the new champion <laughs> um, in the neutral corner after this one. MC, though, Simon Goodall with the score. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10, half four rounds of boxing, your referee, John Coyle, scores the contest for Danny Bowell, 94 points, for Peter Nightingale, 96 points. The winner, well, that's exactly the, the same as we had it. 96 94. But he needed that big effort at the end, John. That's what I think swayed it, the big effort at the end. I think it was a clear two points in that yeah. last round, yep, that's and that's what swayed uh, the referee. Yeah, that's six rounds to four then in yes. favour of Peter Nightingale, who does the double, but more importantly, wins the Midlands area welterweight title. Yes. Well, Alec Kirby was about to present the trophy there to Peter. I think he's on a high, isn't he? Yes. So Peter Nightingale uh, then. A what a great winner. contest. Yeah, but we're going to get a word with Peter Nightingale. I think Graham Beecroft's there waiting anxiously to get him at the ringside. And uh, Peter, I'm sure, will be delighted to come down and give his... Uh, version of events here but there's some pretty nasty damage on the face there of Danny Bell by the way at the end of that contest quite a bad cut between the eyes years ago Steve you used to get an area belt didn't you yeah now it looks like a yeah a sculpted glove sort of trophy absolutely so Dave Bradley then our promoter and of course uh, Ratty Yosemite yeah. delighted here's Graham Beecroft well, Peter, congratulations. It was an unbelievable contest. Did you feel that he was getting on top early on and that you had to work hard to turn it round? Well, I know, I mean, he's a strong lad. I felt him before and he was close. And uh, I'm a bit slow starting, but onto the top, I had more really. You had to dig really deep and you got yeah. into a rhythm, didn't you, in the later yeah. rounds? 
Well, I was just bought. It was my total and I was doing pretty. I was going to say the gym is called Touch of Class, but it was a touch of real uh, old fashioned grit there. <laughs> was it was tipped and old. Tipped and old yeah. 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 Did you feel that you could ever knock him down? He was a strong lad. Yeah. I mean, you hit yeah. him with yeah. some good punches oh, and oh, cut him up badly. A few times, a few times uh, he, like, I ate him, uh, but he, he's a good lad. He come, he come to fight. And uh, that's what he was, with not fight. And, uh, the best man won on the night, eh? Did. I want okay. you to talk more on what he did. That's right. Nice prize. Congratulations. Thank Have you. a nice Thank rest. Thank you. Thanks a lot, my fans. I love you. I love you all. Thank you. So, Peter, nice.